you will need exactly this amount of XRP to become millionaire. XRP to $50,000. Ripple has admittedly had more success and received a warmer reception abroad than in the US. According to her new article, the next region in which Ripple will expand its presence will be Latin America. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. As noted, in Latin America, payments often lead to high fees for both senders and recipients. Regulators in the region are working with different progress and approaches to provide real-time payment options that enhance access to financial services, generate revenue for banks and businesses, and help protect the economy from global market volatility. With use cases such as incoming remittance flows seen as an essential component of GDP for many Latin American countries, identifying ways to reduce the costs associated with these remittances is a key driver of regional growth. At the same time, central banks are increasingly interested in revising their attitudes towards cryptocurrencies, creating opportunities for the cryptocurrency and blockchain sectors to help create a single LATAM payment system for low-cost, faster and more convenient transactions. Of course, not all cryptocurrencies are the same. The use of a digital asset designed specifically for payments will be the key to the introduction of a successful digital payment system capable of processing large volumes of transactions without problems. Trend Support Latin America is heavily dependent on the U.S. dollar. On U.S. remittance flows and the dollar as a reserve currency for economies such as Costa Rica and El Salvador, which use dollars interchangeably with local banknotes. Some Latin American businesses even use U.S. dollars as a source of liquidity, directing payments through American banks to transfer funds to international accounts in the region. This dependence on the US dollar means that the adoption of cryptocurrencies in the states is likely to have a big impact on the adoption of cryptocurrencies in Latin America. There are also various new fintech players in the market who are working to participate in consumer payments. For example, cryptocurrency exchanges sponsor football clubs throughout the Latin American region, helping to improve public understanding of how to access cryptocurrency. The public adoption and use of cryptocurrencies as an alternative to cash or bank accounts is also gaining popularity in some countries as a simpler and less volatile alternative to the local currency. The use of cryptocurrencies as an alternative to cash is being promoted by the government of El Salvador, where the adoption of bitcoins as legal tender is of great importance. There are also central banks, such as Brazilian and Mexican, that have realized the value and potential of cryptocurrencies and have begun to develop and provide their customers with digital wallets. Since Brazil is usually the leader in Latin America in the introduction of new technologies, it is worth noting that the country promotes the reasonable and progressive use and regulation of cryptocurrencies. In March 2022, Brazil announced that it had selected nine projects to develop a central bank digital currency CBDC, indicating a real interest in the digital future. Brazil's central bank has also been one step ahead in the region, demonstrating public interest in the potential of DeFi. NFT and even the metaverse. And from the point of view of consumer acceptance, there is a boom in cryptocurrency trading in Brazil, which portends a bright crypto future for the region. In terms of compliance, businesses in the region can use the same fiat money compliance measures such as Know Your Customer KYC, and Anti-Money Laundering AML, for cryptocurrency transactions to ensure the security of these flows and help protect the integrity of the financial system. Opportunities and What's Next traditional banks, fintech companies and governments have a lucrative opportunity to expand the adoption of forward cryptocurrency technology to solve problems in this underserved and fragmented market. These problems will be much easier to solve when digital banks have freer access to the market, which will help reduce the high fees and friction associated with institutionally controlled transactions. It will also help move people away from cash into the digital payment space, increasing convenience for consumers and creating new markets for both businesses and banks without heavy dependence on the traditional U.S. banking sector. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on both consumers and banks in the region, which have historically relied on cash transactions. Many financial institutions are already seeing an increase in digital payments due to the growth of non-cash transactions, 
as the region is looking for safer, faster and more convenient alternatives to payments. A study by America's Market Intelligence shows that the population of Brazil using banking services has grown to 88% in 2021, while Chile is not far behind and is 82%. Argentina, Colombia, Mexico and Peru also showed growth this year. Smart and progressive regulation will lead to increased innovation and progress in the field of cryptocurrency in Latin America. After the regulatory debate taking place in the United States, banks and fintech companies have great opportunities to work with regional regulators to create sound public policy frameworks. Latin America is a diverse region in which both developed and developing countries are penetrating the digital payments landscape to varying degrees. But by finding an opportunity to interact in the region, Latin America can become more financially independent, more financially attractive for external investment and more open from a financial point of view. Etc. Group, a leading European specialized provider of institutional level securities backed by digital assets, announced today the listing of XRP Etc., Physical XRP Etc. Group, ticker GXRP, on April 22 at Deutsche Börse Zetra, the leading European digital asset exchange. XRP will join a line of institutional level products traded on the exchange, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Polkadot, Litecoin, Avalanche, Cosmos, Polygon and Uniswap, which are traded on Zetra. The new etc. will be available in euros and US dollars, and will be sold and distributed by HANETF, an independent UCITS ETF provider working with asset management companies. Bradley Duke, founder and co-CEO of Etc. Group, said. Ripple is rapidly becoming a leader in global payment systems, and hundreds of financial institutions are choosing Ripple to provide their customers with the best real-time international payment experience. Quote, Hector McNeil, co-founder and co-CEO of HANETF. We are pleased to collaborate with Etc. Group again to offer a new Etc. supported by XRP. Ripple is a growing blockchain based digital payment network that is gaining momentum due to its high speed and reliability. Quote, Crypto etc. provides investors with significant advantages over direct investments in digital assets. The live XRP price today is $0.88 United States dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of $3,740,000,000 United States dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0. 4% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.